How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we got new wheels for the Rally Miata. As you can see, uh, we've got the stock daisies on here because I went ahead and gave my wheels to Nick. What's up guys? The wheels look so much better in his car. Uh, it, it definitely needed it, it definitely needed it. We're also putting a uh, front lip, side skirts, and exhaust on his car, but that's not gonna be in the video. What, what, is it gonna be in a different video that you're doing? Or? No. No, you're just not gonna show them? Never. You're not gonna let the fans see? No. As you all know, I ordered some Steelys off of diamondracing.com, and they arrived. Well, three of them did at least. This is them, and they look fabulous. They are very, very deep. This is a 14 by seven, negative 51 offset. Um, but as you can tell, there are only three. Pretty much they made three and then ran out of materials. First things first, take the wheels, take the tires, bring them to the tire shop and get them mounted. Sanding out this pipe, dude. Are you, you're, you're, you're gonna let them go? Is this live? You better not let them go. Let's see which one oh. wins. Oh. Dead oh. tie, it's a dead tie, ah. dude! It's the left one. It's definitely the left one. Let's see how this works. Um, try to put them flat. Yeah, that works. That works. Can we put another one? Ooh, yeah. No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be good, gonna, gonna be good though. No. Oh. Give it a little up. Oh yeah, there we go. Kid, you still need to make me a bow. You know that? I'm out of that business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah. There you go. I'll put the seatbelt through it. Buckle it in, dude. Hold on, dude. Let, buckle um, it. Hold up, one second. Dude, Let me go. find yeah. out what she likes. No, 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 she, she likes it better. She wants to relax, I Does think. she want to relax? All right, yeah, let her relax, man. Okay, all right. It's home sweet home, nice. Just dropped off the wheels and tires at Firestone. It was only $50, so I'm not complaining. That's awesome. Uh, I'll be back within the hour to pick them up. And the tires are mounted, boys. Do those look amazing? I can't wait to get that on the car. Oh my God, it's spectacular. Now the tire shop couldn't balance them because their machine was broken. But that's okay because they didn't charge me. I was completely free. So that is awesome. And it doesn't matter because I was going to have to come back anyway to um, get the other two mounted and balanced. So then we'll just get the other two mounted, all of them balanced, and we're good. We really just need these to mount it up and uh, cut some things. Oh, that is. That's going to be so good. Shout out to Josh, Alex, Alvar. And um, <laughs> in Edwin, you shout out to Jonathan, Albert, Alvon, Josh, and Alex. Bro, these cars are sick. Yeah, some subscribers walked by and they saw us working, so they came and said hi. The other thing is that I don't know if we can get the front up enough to get a wheel on, but we'll try. That's as high as the jack goes. Haha! <laughs> it's still possible. I don't think this is gonna work, but let's just go ahead and try to walk this guy on in here. Nope. No, it's definitely. The jack, fully extended. I can't even get the wheels on. However, since these are such negative offset, I think I can get the jack under the car on the lower control arm, jack that up, and then get the wheel on there, tighten the lug nuts, loosen it down, loosen the jack down, and we should be good. I don't know, let's try. Hey, hey. Obviously I'm not keeping these rainbow ass lug nuts, but um, that's all I got right now. Oh, it's fantastic. 
Look at the poke too. Oh, it's perfect. Ah, oh, dude, that looks so awesome. All right, and you know, fitment isn't awful. We obviously are really close here. We're gonna have to cut some right down there. And I think on the other side as well, but I think the top is gonna be fine. Just look at how perfect that fitment is. Right there, right there. Now, I want to turn the car a little bit and see if we have to cut stuff, but we're gonna have to drop the car to do that. So, I think what's next, get a wheel on the back, drop this side of the car, See how it sits. And now we can take this sketchy spacer off, which a lot of you were complaining about, and you thought I was actually gonna keep it on the car. I'm not that dumb. I just, wow. I think we can get this on without jacking the car up anymore. Yep, there we are. You know, not as much poke in the back as there is in the front, a little disappointing. The wheel is lightly tightened on, and I see where we need to cut. Right there. Have about a centimeter of space right now, and that's all gonna go when we drop the car, so it's time to get cutting, boys. I don't want the cut to look super out of place, so I'm gonna try to follow this line, starting maybe like up here. I'm gonna use some tape to help me guide myself through the process. Oh gosh, look at that. Smoking and shit. That's not good. All that mud. That's what's in my rockers. Screw it. And I think we're good now. Uh, it shouldn't be able to hit that, so yeah. And back here, I also think we're good. Okay, cool, this backside is done. Really easy, you just need to make one cut. You can't really see how awesome this looks until I can get it out, but... Hoo, hoo. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Damn it. <laughs> All right, it's touching there, I can't turn right. Can't do that either. Yeah. So that's a pretty clean cut. I like it. That was actually really easy to cut. I guess the front fender is a lot thinner. Uh, it also looks really good. I mean, look at that's a nice little flowing line. I guess let's go throw the wheel back on there and see what happens. I'm not used to wheels that weigh like 60 pounds. It's rough. Holy shit. It's rubbing on the inside there. Gotta cut more on that too. Shit. Okay, I went ahead and cut some more. Oh, come on, mate. I'm gonna have to like chop off this entire front bumper. <laughs> Damn. I, I, I hit full lock. Oh, it's so close though. <laughs> if I'm going over a bump at any speeds, I'm gonna rub. There's like a little tab here I can cut off though, so I'll cut that off and then it should be good on that. And I'll cut more off the front and we should be good. That was that full lock, and it looks like we cleared. So for now, this entire side is 
done. I'm gonna use the last wheel that we have, put it on the front, cut it all, put it on the back, cut it all, leave it on the back, and then when we get the new shipment, we can put it on the front, take it for the test drive, cut more, and um, yeah. This side is cut. Let's see if it fits. It's not hitting anything though. Oh. It's rubbing like on this inside metal right here. Very tricky place to reach. Hmm. Day two working on the Rally Miata. In order to get these suckers to turn, we're gonna have to cut a lot of this tab off right here. And we gotta trim more off the front bumper. After that, we should should be able to turn full lock at zero compression. <laughs> I decided cutting that entire thing was gonna take too long, so we just took a hammer to it, hammered the fuck out of it, and it did bend it over a little bit. Car's on the ground right now. Oh, oh. Fully nice. You can keep going. Yeah, that's I know. Better. I mean, is that full lock, you think? It definitely does touch, well, but I think that's pretty much full lock, isn't it? All right, so we cut, grinded, and painted some more. Let's try it now. I mean, it's yet again still hitting, but it's pretty damn close to full lock. Yeah. The only way we're gonna be able to get it to actually go to full lock is completely cut that thing off, and that's gonna take way too long. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the inner fender. Or wait, no, Brody's gonna do it. Okay. Painted. All right, let me do it. This is how you did the other side. Yep. Here at the front, that's actually quite impressive. I know, but it looks good. I mean, this thing's pretty easy to direct where you want it to go. That's always good. Me? Yeah. Hey, you want some more? You can do it. There you go. You can do it. <coughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And then you got the one retarded side of the stock daisy. <laughs> this thing's gonna look so dumb, but yes, we're good. It's kind of like a drag car, you know, we got some drag radials in the back. Not. Yeah, I mean, that thing is sitting so good. It's so high. The front looks obviously really bad, but. I decided until I get the rest of the off-road wheels, I'm just gonna run to the stock daisies in the front and then to, uh, to meaty tires in the back. Oh, well, buddy. <laughs> I didn't mean to. car or a rally car who knows obviously we're not keeping the car like this it's just until we get the other two wheels wow it's so yeah, bright oh my gosh yeah. ah. <laughs> oh, I think looks so dumb Panting because the battery just died in Reagan and we tried pop starting it twice, but three times. three times we couldn't get enough speed. So, I don't think the clutch is good enough either. Take it to the auto parts store and uh, get a new battery. Hundred dollar expense, I wasn't expecting, but that's all right. We're starting off by replacing the uh, the ground cable because it was it was bad. Here it is. That's the only thing that was grounded. So, 
yeah, we are replacing that, hoping that fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, then we do have another battery. Well, that did absolutely nothing. The dash isn't even lighting up, so that's... Oh, what? But wait a second. You think it's something wrong with this? That's probably what it is. No. Hold on. Because the house of the battery is working. <laughs> so this is the fuse box, and here's the, the main fuse. Yeah, that's what this is, this get a rigged thing. So <laughs> we're thinking that's probably our issue. Um, we're pulling the one from Molly, putting it in just temporarily to see if that starts it. And if that is the case, then we'll get a new one. New main fuse is in. Hey! Hey, boy! Woo! Woo! Uh, but I need a new main fuse for this car. <laughs> the fuses on both cars are now fixed. Both cars are running mint. Returned the battery and got my money back, so that's awesome. And that is gonna be it for today, guys. We are ready to install all the wheels. We just have to wait until they get here. I'm hoping they'll be here by the end of this week, and then we can throw them on this weekend, and then that will be the video for um, Monday. Let me know what you guys think of these things. I think they're awesome. The tires are Max's Bighorns. They are 27 by 8.5 R14. The Steely is 14 by 7, negative 51 offset. Um, Diamond Racing Steely, SC Series. These are mud trains, obviously. Very, very aggressive tread, but um, we're gonna need it on a little Miata. I mean, fucking. If you guys want to support the channel and pick up a Jim Jim sticker, link will be in the description below. All the proceeds of these stickers go straight back into the builds, so I would really appreciate it if you buy yourself the stick. If you want a sticker, then I guess buy you some damn stickers. <laughs> For now, let's put this one on because this one doesn't have one. Right. Oh, I would actually though. Right. Oh. 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 All right, hold this. Oh my god, they clean that up. Yeah, so I know. <laughs> oh, look at the paint. Oh my gosh, this car actually <laughs> looks it's nice black. now. What the heck? <laughs> Alright. No, oh, I just. Okay, well, that's where it's going. <laughs> I dropped it onto the thing. Oops. Ooh, yeah. Daddy. I think that's pretty good. It's that's there. how we do it. Yeah, it's there. Ah! Oh! Wait, wait. wait. Oh, dude, that was so close. So guys, that's gonna be it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe, and we will catch you guys next Monday for, well, I don't know if it's... What the hell are we doing? Peace uh... out.